Hey y'all, welcome to Random Art with Karen. It's my favorite day of the week. It's Sunday, and I'm in my craft room listening to sermons on the TV. Um, if you follow me before, you know I, I enjoy listening to Dr. Charles Stanley, Dr. David Jeremiah, um, Dr. Michael Youssef. Uh, again, it depends on what time I'm up here and, and how many hours. I want to share with you today how I keep scripture in my planners. Yes, that was planners plural. <laughs> you know how we how we planners are. We don't have just one. But today I'm going to show you uh, my Kit Life notebook, keeping it together notebook. So let me just flip through here. And if you enjoy bullet journaling, uh, Bujo, whatever you call it, uh, this is the, the different layouts I'll be sharing with you today. And I'll try to keep in mind that I do use different companies because uh, I love to shop. <laughs> Who doesn't? So uh, these stickers are from Ben's Design Co. And uh, I do try to put the logos uh, on my spreads uh, so that if I do want to uh, go back and, and reorder, I know where they came from. So as you can see here, I do have plenty of room to document all the different things uh, that I needed to do that week and the upcoming week, but it still left me room to be able to put a Bible verse uh, on this particular spread, to, uh, delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart, and that's from Psalm 37, 4. And look there, there's a cat hair on that. What a surprise. <laughs> Are we surprised? No. I wanted to show you this because these are stickers from uh, Mambi, you know, me and my big ideas, or Create 365. Look how easy this would be to document your scripture. Here you could put uh, the chapter and the verse and the book of the Bible, and then write your scripture, write any other notes here. When I am in my craft room, I do keep, well, of course, I've got a pad, that, that uh, protective pad, because I'm stamping and so forth. And then I'll just keep a ballpoint pen uh, as uh, the preacher uh, is talking about different passages and notes. And I'll, I'll jot down some things that I can then transcribe into my notebook and my planner. But uh, that's just an idea. Again, my, it's just so quick and easy, as you can see there, using stickers. Now this one, another one, very quick and easy. The Joyful Planner is where I got these stickers and she has a, a, a large amount of scripture stickers. And that just went very easily. So uh, I started to draw out my boxes, but then I chose to then leave spaces so I could uh, put in the scripture sticker. And then again, you still have plenty of room to put whatever, you know, your to-do list, uh, appointments, and so forth. Also, uh, some more uh, scripture from the Joyful Planner. And I will put her link below because I think you'll find a lot of beautiful things, especially if you want to keep scriptures in your notebook. So I'll definitely put her link below. These, uh, these also are from uh, the Joyful Planner. <laughs> Aren't these cute? I love the little bear. So yeah, all of these are from her shop uh, along with the scripture. So again, still have plenty of room for uh, my appointments, to-dos, etc. Still have room for scripture. Uh, this is a stamp set from Pink and Main, is what that's from. And then this is uh, some washi tape. This is a spread. There was a, it was called Flourish Bible Journaling Conference. It was a free online uh, that I participated in. And they had uh, different uh, people that would share how they do Bible journaling, uh, faith journaling, etc. And so I took some notes there along with some scripture. Uh, this sticker set is from Planning with Kay. It was called the Cozy Monthly Kit. 
so this was strictly to document that. But again, I used the same type of layout that I would, you know, if I was doing bullet journaling, uh, washi tape here. Now this is mostly, let me make sure that I've got everything straight here so you can see. Yep, okay. Uh, the stencils. So I, I did, uh, of course, use my ruler and my micron pen to create my boxes. But these are stencils from Stencil Girl Products. And I'll put their link below because if you enjoy Bible art journaling, uh, I have shared some of the things that I've done in my uh, Bible using those stencils. And then I will also uh, be on their blog, I believe it's July 15. Uh, they'll have some of my Bible art uh, on their blog, so I'll put their link below. So, yeah, just stencils, and then your I use my stamping ink. And um, these are uh, just some stamps I had. Uh, but again, I've got plenty of room to put my to-dos and what my week's uh, happening on my week. And, you know, if you don't have a lot of room, you know, there's some very short Bible verses. Uh, commit your way to the Lord. So you can fit that anywhere. That's Psalm 37, 37, 5. Uh, and then, you know, we do plan, but do we ask God, you know, what is your plan for my week? So I put that little reminder there. Yeah, the days of the week. That is a, that's a stencil uh, from Stencil Girl, uh, and the stars, uh, the little teacup, all from Stencil Girl. This spread, everything is from most everything, is from Boho Berry. These were stickers, and then what I did was just got my ruler and my micron pen to bring it all the way out. Uh, this is washi tape, but um, yeah, these are her stickers, and uh, I was able to color them. I used Copic markers to color them, but these uh, boho berry, boho berry, the little butterflies, boho berry, the lavender. Um, this is from a stamp set from Cory the Reset Girl. And then I wrote a Bible verse here about faith. Faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see. And that's from Hebrews 11.1. 1. So I'll also put the link for Boho Berry. This spread I use clippings from a magazine. Uh, in fact, I, I believe I did a video on this. And so this is from Somerset Life. From, yeah, here we go, Somerset Life. <laughs> uh, it's from Stampington and Company. And then these stickers are, where's Mother? These stickers are from uh, Sarika Studio. I will put her link below because I use a lot of her stickers. I love her style. Uh, and then some washi tape. These Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday as a stamp set from Unity Stamp Company. I'll put their link below. But as you see, I have... Uh, all of my appointments that I had to mail some cards uh, still though had a, a room for little sermon notes uh, Bible verses and I was listening actually to Dr. David Jeremiah and so he referenced different Bible verses uh, his point was put God in the center of your life and so he quoted uh, John 14 16 through 18 1 John 5 12 um, Matthew 11 28 and then I wrote one of them uh, completely out there. Uh, the May is from Unity Stamp Company. This is uh, Ben's Design Co., you know, where you put your days of the week and so forth. And I have Bible verses that are about pray, praying, prayer. That's my one little word for this year. If you participated in the Alley Edwards, uh, one little word. And uh, also have room for another Bible verse. And then on the other side are lists. There was a big sale, sticker sale. And so I was keeping up with my orders on this side. This spread here. This uh, stamp set is from Pink and Main. So it's a little camera, Pink and Main. 
And then these cameras, uh, again, were clippings from magazines, some, I believe of Somerset Life as well. Uh, this is my dad. Uh, this probably would have been, gosh, 1980s maybe? I don't know. But uh, that's my dad. And um, the camera stickers are Sarika Studio. Again, I'll put her link below. Moments is a stamp from Stampington and Company. And then I just tore a definition out of the uh, dictionary about capture and capturing moments. Uh, this is washi tape. Uh, again, Sarika Studio sticker. And then I just drew boxes. Uh, put my days of the week there. Uh, again, I have my to-dos. Uh, but a Bible verse. One, two, uh, three Bible verses uh, in this spread. Uh, this is, I'll be having cataract surgery, and so uh, I wanted to put everything that I was supposed to do on <laughs> here. And then, of course, anytime you have surgery, uh, there's some anxiety in, in, involved. Uh, and so I decided to put the uh, scripture, trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding, and in all thy ways acknowledge him. So... Um, yeah, uh, uh, I'm going to be having some other, uh, some of my planners have things about anxiety. Uh, of course, you know, this is like the number one Medicare surgery, and uh, I have a lot of faith and trust in the surgeon, but uh, I think it's normal to be anxious. So uh, I'll be referring, I know, to my planners that have the scripture about uh, anxiety, uh, and I'll, I'll share that with you. Uh, this, by the way, I did a whole uh, video about using it, it's uh, the fabulously planned and using all of the sticker sheet so when you do get the sticker sheets that have like the days of the week you, have you ever noticed that there's that outline there same thing if you do the full boxes uh, well that's what I used here and then these little cute things the bows and the clips and the girl reading the one dollar bit Wednesday uh, that's all from fabulously planned and I will put uh, her link below this spread Again, I'm using magazine clippings. The rest of these stickers are from Let's Plan It. Uh, as, you, as you notice again, uh, if I like the stickers and the company, I will put their information on my spread. And then I just drew the boxes. All of these stickers are from Let's Plan It. And I wrote this in because I was listening to my sermons this morning. And uh, he said, help me do this for your glory. And so that's what I hope I'm doing today. Um, again, be strong and courageous. Here I am. To <laughs> keep the faith that everything's going to go well. And uh, so be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid for the Lord your God is the one who goes with you. He will not fail you or forsake you. And that's in Deuteronomy. And interesting enough, in this sticker kit, uh, be strong and courageous was uh, one of the stickers. So uh, I thought that worked perfectly here. Uh, this is washi, and then here I just took, uh, this is washi, but here I just took my Copic marker and just scribbled out and then put over that. So I hope you got some great ideas on how to keep scripture in your daily life, uh, put it in your planner. I will be sharing how I put scriptures in some of my other planners because yes, I have Let's see, I've got an Erin Condren, I've got a Kit Life, I've got a Carpe DM A5, I've got Traveler's Notebook, uh, I need to turn around and look, I've also got the small Erin uh, Condren hardback, uh, I've got a dotted grid uh, mole scans. <laughs> so for those of you that do have other planners, uh, my uh, goal is to share how to keep scripture and all those different sizes and planners. So I, I hope you'll be able to have something to take away. Thanks again for checking in with me. I hope you'll hit the like button and subscribe. Let's do the wave. Bye. I look forward to seeing you next time.